Niagara Falls and other monuments across Canada will light up in red in support of Canadian Blood Services tonight. The organization says there is an immediate need for blood, plasma and platelet donors because of cancellations as a result of the weather in the past few days. Vanessa Danabalin has the details. According to Canadian Blood Services, heavy snowfall, extreme cold and icy conditions in many parts of the country has led to a shortfall of about 10% of blood and plasma donations, which is about 1,500 units, one unit being one donation. So um, one unit is kind of one person that, that it helps, but to kind of put it into perspective, um, car accident victims, for example, could need up to 50 units of blood, um, and that's one, one car accident victim. Um, also, um, during the holidays, we're out celebrating and spending time with loved ones. Um, there are a lot of folks who are fighting cancer and cancer patients need treatment from blood and blood products as well. KDB from Canadian Blood Services says the national blood inventory has declined by over 35% since the start of October because of cold and flu season, COVID-19 and anticipation of the holidays. This tracker on their website shows their inventory levels across all blood types by the number of days they'll last. Most of them are under eight days, which is their ideal level. O negative, which is at three days and platelets are critically needed. Red blood cells are, uh, are stay good for 42 days. Um, platelets can be stored um, up to five days. And um, after the blood is um, expired, then what happens is we, um, we dispose of the blood, um, but Right now, because we're in a shortage, it usually doesn't uh, get thrown out. Don Piercy from Grimsby took this picture at his 100th donation back in 2020. And just two weeks ago, he hit 115. Saving lives. Number one, you know your, um, your blood is going to be used and it's going to possibly save up to five lives. And because I'm O positive, they need my blood. Cheryl Allaby just donated blood a few days ago with her family. I didn't. I uh, really feel tired or drowsy after they they tell you to drink something um, before you come and eat salty food and make sure that you're well hydrated before you come. Uh, so that helps a lot. You might feel a little fatigued at night, but you sleep like a baby. It's the best sleep you're going to get. Anyone who is eligible is urged to book an appointment as soon as possible on their website. Manisa Danabal on CHCH News.